Hi everybody. I was watching DC Scrapping Rooster here on YouTube uh, maybe a week ago or a few days ago. She has a new video on some Happy Mail. And in her Happy Mail, somebody sent her a... Oh, I just stuck my arm in a bunch of paint. Painter problems, huh? Man! Hang on a second. I'm going to wipe it off some random piece of paper. Okay. So she got some Happy Mail, and in her Happy Mail, she, somebody sent her a feather. Now, I don't know if it's a real feather or a paper feather. I am not sure, but I fell in love with that feather, and that gave me an idea. Since I found this feather yesterday, it's just your random, ordinary pigeon feather. Thank you, pigeon. Um, I picked it up. I washed it with some Dawn soap and kind of trying to get it to form. And I thought, well, what if I try it myself, try to do something similar to what I've seen. Now, she didn't explain if it was real or fake, and I didn't ask. Actually, I did tell her in a comment that I really fell in love with that feather. So, it inspired me to figure out how to make one for myself. So, I came with, up with the feather that I found, and then I'm going to grab some gesso. Now I'm going to gesso this flower, this, this feather, and see what happens. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. It was a white feather. Well, could have been a piece of paper turned into a feather. I'm not sure at all. As a matter of fact, Miss DC Scrappin' Rooster, I'm sorry that you're having dental problems. It really sucks. Really, really sucks. But I hope that everything works itself out. Okay, so uh, on her video, the feather that I seen, like I mentioned, it could have been a piece of paper. I'm not sure. It was white, or is white, I should say. It is white. And it had, like, little roses on it. And I just totally fell in love with it. So this is my take on that feather. And I think it came all the way from England, I think. So here's my take. I really hope this works. Because if this works, pigeons, you better look out. I want your feathers. I'm so into feathers. I love feathers. I went dumpster diving today. You... I went dumpster diving. Yes, I did, and I found some goodies. The things that people get rid of, I found about six dozen um, battery operated candles. Mm hmm. Six dozen of them. I found some luxurious, about seven of them, uh, black, beautiful linens for tables, really nice ones. I found some incense uh, holder thingy majiggers. The more I mess with it, the more I'm kind of messing with the feathers. I don't know if I should. We'll see. This is a, this is my first this is my first go at it so we'll see let me uh, I found a lot of vases and other regular candles I found all kinds of stuff it was cool
it was my shopping therapy, dumpster diving. Okay, don't waste that gesso. I'm gonna let this dry. And of course, I'll come back. Video number two. I found this. Might as well use it. use it, right? Look, a hair roller. Set it aside. Let me show you whatever I have next to me that I found. Oh, looky here, Cali Black. Look what I found. It's metal. And it's missing the chain, but I can get creative with the chain. And it has all these gorgeous holes, and it has gorgeous patina already on it. And it opens, and you can stick your incense thing in there. Yes, and it's just going to hang outside and get rid of those mosquitoes. Burn some rosemary or some sage in there. Isn't that gorgeous? I oh, and it smells delicious. Okay, found that. What else did I find? Um. Let's see. I put some stuff here. I found all of these. I found this elephant. I found this instant burner. And this cool jar. It's cool because it has like these little indentations right here which are pretty cool. I'm going to play with this. I think it's a cool one. Uh, this little clip it always comes in handy and a little ball. And the rest are put away already. Oh and some beautiful picture frames. Two of them. Gorgeous. Lots and lots and lots and lots of candles. Most of them weren't even burnt and then the battery, battery operated ones This, okay, it's really cool. <laughs> it's it's basically it's karma. This holds incense also. You stick the little incense in there. I don't have incense next to me, do I? No, not right now, I don't. But I have an incense stick that's already used. But it has one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? And it looks like there's two missing, but that's okay with me. And it's some kind of stone. Don't know what kind of stone. It feels really nice though. You stick your incense in there. Isn't that cool? You, in, each and every one has a hole to stick a Incent in each and every one if I wanted to. I think that's amazing. Uh, this guy, the hole's not deep enough. Or maybe there's something stuck in there. Okay, that's that. I found a whistle. It's a cool whistle. It's the ACME Acme, I think that is the way you pronounce it. Thunderer, made in England. I'm going to put that on my daughter's uh, keys, just in case she gets in some kind of trouble. I think it's amazing to have a whistle to catch attention. Uh, this little, I don't know, violin maybe? And I think it lights up if I were to stick a little battery in there. Yeah, the little battery needs to go in there. <laughs> there is a battery, but doesn't seem to be a good battery unless it's backwards I found like four of these and some light up skulls okay just needs a battery what else is in here just some random oh this is a, no a knob and all of these, look how beautiful. And they're like porcelain. That's 
saying is that one. Okay, I guess it's just these three. But look at all of these. They're really nice. And like I mentioned, the rest of the stuff I already put away. Yep, yep, yep. But yes, I'm always, always, always open to someone else's junk. Which ends up not being junk for me. Of course, I left behind some, some stuff that, to me, was not something I needed. So I left stuff behind, like house phones, uh, just random things. What else did we get? A beautiful candle that is a skull. It's gorgeous and it's a candle and it's a skull. My husband kept that. He fell in love with it. So maybe later I'll find it where he put it and show you guys. What else? Oh, this is in the making. It's coming out really nice. You guys will see those videos before you see this video. Okay. Uh, then I'm just going to wait for that gesso to dry. Is it dry? No, it's not dry. And then we'll give it a second coat. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. But yes. Love dumpster diving. Okay. See you guys later. Bye.